Far away there is a land where children do not play. They've lost their imaginations, they just watch the screen all day. So Queen to Biblia declared that she was going to go to Earth where they know how to make imaginations grow. And as she watched the children and the books that each one carried, she decided that was where the secret must be buried. When she saw a leader, she turned on her super zapper, and Miss Reader was captured by this outer space kidnapper. Now the Queen's declared that she won't let Miss Reader go Until she's taught the Queen to make imaginations grow Hello, Mary Reader. Oh, Queen Tabibia, I'm so glad to see you. I'm all ready with some poems for you. Now, these are not poems that tell a story. These are poems that describe things. Do they have a beat, a rhythm? Oh, yes. You can listen for the rhythm. In fact, you could clap to the rhythm. Every time I climb a tree, every, every time, time I, I climb, climb a tree. tree. Oh, that is what I like about poetry, the rhythm. Do they also have rhyming words? Well, there's tree and sea, nest and best, egg and leg. Oh, I like those words that rhyme. Let's find these poems. All right, ask onesie twosie to No, find no. You ask onesie twosie to find what you need. I just want to sit here and enjoy all these poems that describe things. But, Queen Tabiblia, the poems are on Earth. You know he won't contact Earth for me. That is because you do not have an Earth communicator. Here, put this on. This is an Earth communicator? I thought it was your crown. <laughs> I know you did. We do not wear crowns on Alitera. Everyone knows that I am their queen. Now, tell onesie twosie what you want. Go on. Um, oh, that's <laughs> it? Yes. Uh, onesie twosie, we need some poems. Receive poems. These are poems that describe things on Earth. Receive, describe things on Earth. Find an Earth child reading poems that tell about things on Earth. Receive. Every time I climb a tree, every time I climb a tree, Every time I climb a tree, I scrape a leg or skin a knee. And every time I climb a tree, I find some ants or dodge a bee and get the ants all over me. And every time I climb a tree, where have you been, they say to me. But don't they know that I am free every time I climb a tree? I like it best to spot a nest that has an egg or maybe three. And then I skin the other leg. But every time I climb a tree, I see a lot of things to see. Swallows, rooftops, NTV, and all the fields and farms there be every time I climb a tree. Though climbing may be good for ants, it isn't awfully good for pants, but still it's pretty good for me every time I climb a tree. White sheep, white sheep, on a blue hill, when the wind stops, you all stand still. When the wind blows, you walk away slow. White sheep, white sheep, where do you go? Oh, little soldier with your golden helmet, why are you guarding on my lawn? You with your green gun and your yellow beard, why do you stand so stiff? There is only grass to fight. Thank you, onesie twosie. Queen to Biblia, this Earth communicator really works. Of course it does. And Mary Reader, those poems really work too. Why, I can feel my imagination getting bigger. When I look at clouds, I can imagine that they are white sheep. Oh, and when I see a dandelion on my lawn, I think of that poem and imagine a little golden soldier guarding my lawn. 
I would like to hear more of those poems that describe things. Ask onesie twosie to find some more someplace else on Earth. Where do you want him to take us? Let's go to my favorite place on Earth, the zoo. Onesie twosie, find someone reading poetry at the zoo. Receive. Excuse us, animals in the zoo. I'm sure we're very rude to you. Into you private house we stare, and never ask if you care, and never ask if you mind. Perhaps we really are not kind. I think it must be hard to stay and have folks looking in all day. I wouldn't like my house that way. Some men are fierce and must grow fiercer when anyone bites off their ears, sir. With bears, it's best to be polite and a bit distant, that's all right. But please, when meeting bears, don't bite. I meet few bears and few meet me, but still it's my belief that meeting bears, the thing to be, is brief. Old Peter Prairie Dog builds him a house in Prairie Dog Town with a door that goes down and down and down, a hall that goes under and under and under, where you can't see the lightning, you can't hear the thunder, for they don't like thunder in Prairie Dog Town. What did I learn at the zoo? Monkeys look like you. Some are bald and some have curls, but monkeys look like boys and girls. Some are quiet and some make noise, but all of them look like girls and boys. What did you learn at the zoo? Oh, much the same as you. Gorillas are good, gorillas are bad, but all of them look a lot like Dad. Some do one thing, some do another, but all of them scream a lot like Mother. What, what did, did we learn at the zoo? Just, Just what, what we wanted, wanted to. to. That it's fun to tease if you make it rhyme, though you mustn't do it all the time. That kangaroos hop and monkeys climb, and that a bottle of lemon and lime is a very good way to spend a dime. And, and so, so is a bag, bag of peanuts. peanuts. Oh, I like the zoo. But Mary Reader, I thought the gorilla looked something like you. A queen to Biblia. <laughs> Oh, I was just using my imagination. <laughs> Where else could we go to find poems that describe things? Well, um, we could go to the park. I'll bet someone there is reading poetry. Onesie Toosie will take us to the park. Onesie Toosie, find a park and find someone there who is reading poems. Receive. Swing, swing, sing, sing. Hear my throne and I am king. Swing, sing, swing, sing. Farewell, earth, for I'm on the wing. Low, high, here I fly, like a bird through the sunny sky. Soon, soon, afternoon, over the sunset, over the moon. Far, far, over the bar, sweeping on from star to star. No, no, low, low, sweeping daisies with my toe. Slow, slow, to and fro, Slow, 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 slow. The world gave worlds around and around. Step right on it from the ground. Push with your foot and step on the side. It keeps whirling and gives you a ride. The world gave worlds around and round. Hold on tight or you'll fall to the ground. Faster and faster, it whirls and whirls. Oh, what fun for boys and girls. The slippery slide is very steep. 
up the high ladder, you have to creep. Sit down and take a hold and give a little push. Down you go with the swish and the swish. Down you go with the swish and the slide. Down the slippery slide, you have a quick ride. Jump off at the bottom, around you run. Up the ladder again to have some more fun. Sit down in your place and give a little push. Down you go with the swish and the swish. Down the slippery, slippery, slippery slide. Oh, what fun it is to ride. Come, let's play on the jungle gym. Climb over our tree from limb to limb. Crawl in and out and over the top. Climb up and down without ever a stop. Climb up and down and all around until you get tired and drop to the ground. On the gym, you're a monkey in the zoo. You're Tarzan in the jungle climbing too. Swing hand over hand from left to right. Grab a banana and pretend to bite. Climb up to the top and walk on thin air. The smartest monkey anywhere. Stories and poetry will save my children, Mary Reader. They will grow big imaginations after all. And a big imagination is a wonderful thing to have. Why, with an imagination, you can be anyone, you can do anything, you can go anywhere you can imagine. A long time ago, a poet named Robert Louis Stevenson wrote about that. He said, when at home alone I sit and am very tired of it, I have just to shut my eyes to go sailing through the skies, to go sailing far away, to go sailing far away. Go sailing far away. What? I'm in the library. It's time for school to be out. What happened to me? Was I sleeping? I, I think I was dreaming something about a spaceship. Now, what was that? I'm really confused. Well, there you are, Mary Reader. Where have you been all day? We had to close the library because you weren't here to check out books. You mean I've only been gone for one day? One day is a long time for children to be without a library. This isn't like you, Mary Reader. You didn't call in sick or to let us know you weren't coming to school today. Where were you? I'm, I'm not sure. I hope that this doesn't happen again. Oh, so do I. We need you here every day. The children need you. Oh, I plan to be here every day. And from now on, we're all going to read more books from this library and make our imaginations grow. Oh, wait, Mrs. Armstrong. Here, how about a book to take home this evening? Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you're back. Have a good evening yourself. By the way, I like your headband. You always wear such imaginative things. Headband? Now, where did that come from? She is safely home, onesie twosie. Now, let's go back to Elettera. We have much work to do. We shall make imaginations grow in all children on our planet. Home, onesie twosie. Received. Far away there is a land to which the queen must go To teach the children how to make imaginations grow 